Some of us might remember how our learning looked like in the 20th century. Fast forward 50 years. The hardware has been replaced by technology. But has the delivery of a lesson changed much? Is it really that different from a century ago? Are the students more engaged just because the teacher is writing on a smart board instead of a blackboard? Has technology really transformed education? Are the students today as engaged as those from 50 years ago? Have you ever wondered when students start to lose focus in class? 10 minutes or 5 minutes into a lesson? What about 30 seconds? Research done by Diane Buns shows that the first spike in students' attention lapse occurs in just 30 seconds into a lesson, and that the lapses in attention can occur as often as every 2 minutes. How then can you ensure that your students are paying attention and how can you increase their engagement in the classroom? Our children are living in the most intensely stimulating period in the history of the Earth. They're being besieged with information and calls for their attention from every platform, computers, from iPhones, from advertising holdings, from hundreds of television channels. And we're penalizing them now for getting distracted. From what? You know, boring stuff <laughs> at school, for the most part. It seems to me it's not a coincidence totally that the instance of ADHD has risen in parallel with the growth of standardized testing. Want to avoid that in your classroom? According to Edudemic, there are four simple ways to increase engagement in the classroom. The first thing you have to do is get up and move. Get out of your chair or away from the front of the classroom. There's nothing that makes a student sit up as much as a teacher walking around. Second, focus on the higher order thinking skills instead of simply feeding students with information and dispensing worksheets. Get your students to think and create. Thirdly, create scenarios for students to use what they are learning in real world applications, making the learning more relevant and interesting. Last but not least, integrate technology. But remember, technology should not simply be used to substitute the conventional ways of teaching. To help you increase engagement in your classroom and to ensure that students' attention does not lapse, I would like to show you the benefits and features of Nearpod. Nearpod is an all-in-one solution for the use of mobile devices in education. Its workflow is simple and its features powerful. The use of multimedia content will keep the students focused and interested. Classroom activities can be monitored closely. Teachers has control over the pace of the lesson. Use Nearpod to share information, ask questions, conduct survey, present video clips, drawings, and more. Nearpod can be installed and accessed on iOS devices, Chromebooks, Android machines, PCs, and more. Teachers can upload existing PowerPoint presentations or PDFs to get started, or simply create your content online. There are loads of free and paid interactive multimedia presentations available for download on the Nearpod website. These are the five components of Nearpod to help you maximize its benefits. The content tool is where you can create your presentations. The Nearpod app provides different views for the teacher and students. After a presentation, teachers can log in to view a comprehensive report of the presentation. Lastly, there is a content store for presenters to find and download ready-made presentations. There is a variety of subscription packages to suit your needs, but you can always give it a try by signing up for a free account. Now that you know how Nearpod can be used to increase engagement, are you ready to revolutionize your classroom?